Hi there, my name is Kunneberg and welcome to my channel. This is a film review of Brazil, a drama thriller film. came out in 1985, it's rated 15. Uh, there's two durations, if you look on IMDb it says 2 hours and 12 minutes, Amazon is 2 hours and 22 minutes. Um, Amazon rating is 4.6 out of 5, IMDb is 7.9 out of 10. So I'm going to read the Amazon synopsis. Um, regarded as a cautionary tale equal to the works of Orwell and Huxley, this is a nightmare vision of a dystopian future where technology reigns supreme and love is forbidden. A daydreaming bureaucrat becomes a tragic victim of his own romantic illusions. The director is Terry Gilliam, Gilliam G I L L I A M, who directed Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Producer was Arnon A R A R N O N Milkan, M I L C H A N, who produced Twelve Years a Slave. Music was by Michael Kamen, who did the music for Open Range. The cast, well, there's, there's a lot of well-known actors, so I've just picked the big ones that stood out for me. So we have Jonathan Price, P-R-Y-C-E, who was Sam Lowry, who was in The Wife. Kim Greist, G-R-E-I-S-T, who was Jill Layton, who was in Manhunter. Robert De Niro, who was Harry Tuttle, who was in Taxi Driver. Catherine Helmond, who was Mrs. Ida Lowry. Who was in Soap, the series. Ian Holm, who was Mr. Kurtzman, who was in Lord of the Rings. Bob Hoskins, who was Spore, was in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. And Michael Palin, who was Jack Lint, who was in Life of Brian. Locations, well, there's a load of them, so I'll just kind of dwindle them down. We have Mentmore Towers in Mentmore, Buckinghamshire, in England. Croydon, Cumbria, and London, in England. Uh, Debenham House in Addison Road, Holland Park in London. Uh, Lee International Studios in Wembley. Uh, Addison Road, Holland Park in London. And Marne la Vallée, Saint Emane in France. Uh, it's also known as 1984 and a half. Apparently that was the working title. Thank God they never kept that one. Uh, and I think the Brazil is because there's a song in there. Um, why? I mean, it's confusing because why would it be called Brazil? Um, so this was a request from somebody to watch. One of my subscribers suggested I watch this, and I've watched 985, uh, 1984, and I thought, well, let's have a go. Let's, let's see what it's like, because you know, I, I, I like to watch all sorts. It starts with a TV advert um, about ducks, D-U-C-T-S. You know, the ducks in your in your buildings and stuff like that, and then the TV shop blew up. This is literally at the very beginning. It starts within seconds, you know. And it was, there's already a quote, because I like my quotes. So the deputy minister has been interviewed about the bombing and says they'll be stopped. Uh, and then later on, the interviewer says, but the bombing campaign is now in its 13th year. And so the minister replies whilst laughing, beginner's luck. And I thought, yeah, 13 years, that's, that sounds good. Um, literally, uh, again, this is what it's all partially about. So there's a simple mistake involving a beetle and a typewriter. So Tuttle is now Battle. Wrong person, but the government don't make mistakes. No, 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 no. Where have we heard that before? Not even in this film. Uh, five minutes in, I was loving it. And there was humour as well. Um, on the trailer you'll see, I think there's this flying dude looking like Icarus. And I was like, what the hell is this? And yes, he kicks in. Um, and then there's all the gadgets in the house, kitchen. It's it's quite enjoyable because it's it's done way back before any of this stuff. Well, not any of this stuff, but you know, it's kind of pretending to be in the future. Um, there's the guy on the desk from Allo Allo. Um, um, oh, I can't remember his bloody name, but it was him. I can't remember his name now. I wonder if I can see it on here. It'd be on the list. Um, don't know his name. It was someone else alone. It was uh, the main guy. The cat's just coming, so I'm going to ignore him. We can freeze outside for a bit. Um, there's so much to see in each scene: humour, action, gadgets. Uh, the scene in the restaurant is good, except for the food. <clears throat> uh, then I spot Robert De Niro because I don't want read the write-ups before. I was like, "Oh my God, it's Robert De Niro!" Um, and the mostly people I recognise, mostly British people. Um, 
I like the Sam Malawi's car. It's, it's fantastic. Easy to park. Great stereo. I actually figure out what the flying guy is about, but I'm not going to say because it, it will destroy the film. Um, and the, the different departments, the buildings and whatnot, are huge. Music was working very well. Um, now I was watching a car chase and the police and the cars were like square blocks. It was so weird. Um, so the, the way for the notes to actually appear at work was through pipes with suction. So you kind of saw this back in years ago when people used notes at the, at the tills, at the, the checkouts. You'd put money into like this little thing and shoop, it'll shoot up through this thing to say, you know, so it'll disappear. So it's like that for getting the thing. And this, and Sam basically losing the plot with them. So he he's ends up uh, just, you know, ruining them all. We can all relate to that. Work arriving, never stopping. <laughs> so at one point, uh, it's strapped down when the guard says, Don't fight it, son. Confess quickly. If you hold out too long, you'll jeopardize your credit rating. I thought that was funny. It's like, yeah, okay. But the ending was very good. It was a bit strange in parts, but then it does make sense. I loved the whole film. It was all British, which was great. The music was great. The instrumental, and the, there was some singing. The set in the buildings were huge. The story was very well presented. I'm going to give it an 8, maybe even an 8.5. Uh, it was a longish film, like I said, about two and a half hours when you fully watch it. I had to watch it in two parts because uh, at the time I started it. But very good film. Highly recommend it. My, it's one that's gone to the radar, but it's got such a high rating. Uh, there's a scene in the video clip, you'll see it, where they, all the um, the people are walking around in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the factory, as it were. That's quite funny, that bit there. I can't really tell you much until you actually watch it, but it's very funny. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed watching and listening to this uh, film review of uh, Brazil. Please subscribe to my channel. I've got plenty of the film reviews out there, so you never know. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Okay, well, thank you and goodbye.